the natural resources sector has been always a staple of the FTSE 100. The, 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 the London Stock Exchange was in many ways the kind of the, the great capital raising place to finance projects of natural resources, whether it was a copper mine in Chile or, you know, uh, the trade of oil with, with, with the Far East many, many, many decades ago. And, and now that is going to be in question mark. I mean, you have Shell, largest FTSE 100 company, opening the door of potentially moving. I mean, I say potentially. Um, if that was to happen, the pressure on other natural resources groups that they are not really favored by investors, I think it will be very, very strong. I mean, if Shell moves to New York, would not investors be asking why is BP still in London? I know BP perhaps have a more attachment to the UK. After all, was British Petroleum. What about Glencore? It has a massive coal business. Already has the company has said that if they spin off the coal business, the listing of that business will not be in London. It will be in New York. Can it happen that actually they don't spin the coal business, that they just relocate the primary listing of Glencore out of the UK into the US? I think that those are important questions. And those are Shell, BP, and Glencore. Those are three of the top 10 companies in the FTSE 100. We are not talking about a small startup IPO choosing the NASDAQ for uh, rather than the LS. We are talking about three of the top ten largest companies in London potentially leaving. And I think that the risk is a lot higher than policymakers and, and exchange executives seem to appreciate. I mean, we had a conversation with, you know, the, the chief executive of the LSE with a number of things that they're trying to put in place because of a commission looking at how you attract talent, how you attract capital markets and investment. Is there something that they could do now to make sure that the companies stay here? Or, or maybe, you know, we're in election year. Is there something that the government can can do now? I mean, I, I think that a lot of our pension funds and invested in companies that they are from overseas, so trying to uh, tweak taxation in a way that it is more positive for, um, um, you know, uh, people who are saving for their pension to invest in the FTSE 100 that are put in, event, say, global indices. I think that that could be a step on the, on the right direction. But there is a big problem for this change because a lot of this is not about, oh, you know, there is a problem with this change. Uh, uh, you know, this is about the attitude of European investors towards fossil fuel industry is simply very different uh, to be here in Europe and particularly in continental Europe where some pension funds have said, sorry, but we are not going to invest in fossil fuels, period. Uh, that's very, very different to when uh, you, you go in, in, in Houston. But so, so some Javier would say, well, you know, good riddance if you can make up for it with uh, other companies. Uh, uh, absolutely, that could be. But uh, the problem I see for London is where are those all other companies coming? Because if you are not really attracting new IPOs from, say, the startup because they prefer the Nasdaq in New York, and you are at risk of losing your traditional big industrial conglomerates very heavy on fossil fuels, what's left? I mean, I mean, are there renewable companies? Are there enough? Again, there, I, don't, there I, don't, I don't see that. The profitability of those companies is not there. We, we are not seeing a lot of interest for investors. I mean, some of the renewables companies in Europe have had a really terrible 12, 18 months. And you cannot really run a, a, a stock market just based on supermarkets. Well, because they're quite small. I mean, that's, that's also true, unless you really like to buy cereal and bananas. <laughs> but is there anything, I mean, is there any renewable company that could rival for example, a Tesla or an EV maker? I don't, I don't see it. I mean, the big renewable companies uh, perhaps could be coming from the automotive industry. I mean, we do have some national champions in Europe mm -hmm. on the renewable power. I mean, I'm thinking of companies like Enel in Italy, Iberdrola in Spain. Uh, those are big companies on those, those particular home markets. But I don't think that we have anything the size of, of Shell. I mean, this is the largest FTSE 100 company. It's very difficult to replace that.